Washington, D.C. Attorney General Carl Racine is suing Mark Zuckerberg, the CEO of the company formerly known as Facebook, now Meta, over Zuckerberg's alleged personal involvement in the Cambridge Analytica scandal. That's right. The lawsuit accuses Zuckerberg of directly participating in the decision-making process that allowed the Trump-allied political consulting firm to steal the personal data of millions of Facebook users ahead of the 2016 election. This sounds like a bunch of jargon. What that really means is precisely, finely tuned advertising designed to enervate or get the user kind of worked up or angry. They share this information and collaborated with the Trump campaign. It is this scraping of data that most people found pretty scary. And this lawsuit alleges that Mark Zuckerberg participated in decisions that directly enabled the, fa the Cambridge Analytica scandal to happen. Four years after the Cambridge Analytica leak, the DC Attorney General is suing Mark Zuckerberg. I'm Yasmin Khan with Rebel HQ, and this story broke just over four years ago back in 2018. A whistleblower revealed to the world that the data firm he worked for, Cambridge Analytica, which was headed at the time by Steve Bannon, was harvesting Facebook profiles in an effort to sway public opinion on the 2016 presidential election in the US and Brexit over in the UK. The data breach accessed an estimated 87 million Facebook profiles, accessing many of those without the authorization to do so. For instance, if one person gave authorization, however that happened, Cambridge Analytica would not only scrub their profiles for insights on how to better target political ads towards that person, but it would gain access to that person's Facebook friends' profiles. The whistleblower, Christopher Wiley, said, We exploited Facebook to harvest millions of people's profiles. We built models to exploit what we knew about them and target their inner demons. That was the basis the entire company was built on. The revelation confirmed what many of us had already suspected as far as Facebook intentionally polarizing the American public in an effort to sway political opinion. At the time, some argued that Facebook users, just by being on Facebook, were the ones putting their data out there in the first place. That wasn't it, though. The violation was that people who weren't clicking on shady links or who weren't opting into things were still having their data mined without their knowledge or permission. Cambridge Analytica was accused of scraping the profiles of Facebook users in 2016. The scandal broke in 2018, and it revealed that they used quizzes, right? These fairly innocuous looking little uh, uh, quizzes that you might take on Facebook, but that allowed them to access very personal information that users thought was private or shared with friends and family only. And it allowed them to look at friends of friends and scrape a ton of data that they then created what they called psychographic targeted advertising. What's the goal of the lawsuit? Well, I think it would be pretty challenging to prove demonstrably one way or the other, but it looks like they worked pretty closely with the campaign and that that advertising technique was successful not just here in the United States, they use that in campaigns around the world. Now, the the goal or apparent goal of this lawsuit is to hold uh, executives directly responsible when they have, in the case of Mark Zuckerberg, a large uh, percentage of ownership over the company and are involved in kind of, kind of granular uh, oper operational mm. uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, decisions at the company like Mark Zuckerberg is. What transpired was wide-scale propaganda, the likes of which the American public had probably thought themselves impervious to. In the UK, people voted for Brexit without fully understanding the implications and consequences of their votes. Here, we elected Donald Trump as our president as millions of Americans were exposed to fringe ideologies, conspiracy theories, and oversimplified analyses of complicated topics getting sucked deeper and deeper into a feedback loop with each like and share. This time period revealed the dangers of social media, with many people opting to no longer check their Facebooks as much as they used to. It became a really toxic environment, a meme in its own right, a place where the kid who flunked out of your high school history class suddenly felt empowered to educate you on the Constitution and encourage you to not be a sheep and do your own research. 
but it was all manufactured in the name of an algorithm that no one, not even its architects, could explain in an effort to push political agendas that did not ultimately serve the people. And what did Mark Zuckerberg do about it? Well, nothing, for a few days. When he finally spoke about the data breach, questions arose around how much he knew and how much he was involved with Cambridge Analytica. For his part, he pledged to prioritize protecting people's privacy. But if any of you have been keeping up with Amber Heard, you know that pledging to do something is not the same as actually doing the thing. Now Zuckerberg is being sued by the Attorney General of DC on the grounds of misleading the public in his aforementioned pledge of privacy protection. Why now? Well, apparently the AG has been trying to get Zuck since the breach was first exposed, but new evidence has recently come to light. In a statement, the attorney general said, the evidence shows Mr. Zuckerberg was personally involved in Facebook's failure to protect the privacy and data of its users leading directly to the Cambridge Analytica incident. This unprecedented security breach exposed tens of millions of Americans' personal information, and Mr. Zuckerberg's policies enabled a multi-year effort to mislead users about the extent of Facebook's wrongful conduct. This lawsuit is not only warranted but necessary and sends a message that corporate leaders, including CEOs, will be held accountable for their actions. The case alleges that Zuckerberg, quote, provided direct input on Facebook's internal policies relating to data sharing on the platform and was so involved that he personally reviewed certain applications' use of data. So to the earlier questions of how much did Zuckerberg know and how involved was he in Cambridge Analytica, it would seem quite a bit.